Okay, we're ready to start assembling and spot welding the main suspension back in. Lynn's got the lower A-arm already placed in there. He's going to slide the upper one on. Then he will put the piece in that he's cut and narrowed up to fit in there. I'm going to leave that off for now. If you look from the back side, you can see where his fingers are and you can see that seam. I mean, that's where we're going to be welding. And then if you look at the suspension up top, you can see that that's all, all lined up. Yeah, we want to. Chad, we want to keep this flush, so maybe run your hand, you know, keep that flush right there in the bottom flush, and then as long as our bolts, um, you know, the bracket here goes up to the, the arms, then it should be, you know, cut and so uh, now, cut properly, I guess. So now Lynn's ready to actually put the bolts onto the suspension so he can tighten that up which will allow everything to, everything to, you can use the bolt tension to help you align that bracket in there. And then here, we're looking here, again, remember our, our uh, lines? And that all looks really good. So I know that, you know, if it's, if it's off a little bit, see how it's gonna do that there. And I'll put it back where I think it goes. Uh, the S's, uh, Chad, if you wanna come around this side. The S's work really nice. Um, there is this cross member or a reinforcement in here, and you will know if it's up or down or in the proper position. Uh, the standard models do not have this, and then you're going to have to for sure do the the A arm mark out here to get this lined up right. And then I'll uh, I'll install it and we'll weld her up.